it's Azra. Um, I am doing another canvas painting. It's a 10 by 10. I've got two of them. I don't know if I'm going to do both of them today or not in this video. Sorry for my finger being in the way. I tried finding my kids, uh, I thought it was a uh, phone, phone and uh, camera um, stand, but it's just for her camera and I don't know how to work her camera all that well. So I did order myself a phone stand and it should be here on the 14th. So hopefully it gets here before then. And you guys don't have to deal with my horrible, horrible phone handling and video recording, but we'll make do. And I appreciate you guys watching these videos and commenting, love it. So I'm going to use these little tea light candle stick holder or candle holders um, except for I'm not going to use where I fill the paint in here I'm going to flip them over on top of the canvas and pour on the top of them um, and then I'll probably just leave them that way and either keep them give them away sell them something I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with them but eventually if I don't do both canvases today and use both of the um, tea light holders they will get done um, and I'm going to try something different on the start to start off with the back of the canvas. I seen on a vid, I couldn't sleep last night, obviously, because I posted another video last night where, um, the person kind of had put some water on the back of the canvas to kind of, um, loosen up the canvas a little bit so that way the, um, paint could flow a little bit better. So we're going to try that. They used a spray bottle with water. I don't have a spray bottle, so I'm gonna just use one of these and see how it goes. And on the video that I was watching, they kind of um, spread the water around the best they could. So, that's what we're doing. And besides, it's hot here like I'm sure everybody is. And I'm a big girl, not gonna lie. And so this heat is really kicking my rump and I'm not digging it, I'm over it. Um, to anybody who lives like in the warmer states in the United States or any other country that is warmer than the, you know, the air temperature is, you know, like in the 90s and the real field temperature with the humidity is like upper 90s or hundreds. Cause we're in like with the humidity, the air temperature feels like lower 90s. My hat's off to you because yeah, no, this is kicking my butt. So I'm not in my normal place where I normally do my paintings just because it's hot in there. And I don't feel like sweating any worse than I already am. So I'm doing it out in my kitchen. Um, I'm using for paints today, Black Clef, Craft Sp Smart, sorry for my stuttering there, um, paint that I diluted with water and WD-40. And I also put in it this extra fine glitter um, blue jean color. I just now noticed that and I was using it last night. Um, I bought it for $2.99 and like I said last night in the video I posted, I have no idea, or idea where I bought it. So I can't help you on that one. It, knowing me, I probably bought it at Walmart because that seems to be my go-to place other than Michael's to get stuff. So that's what is in this bottle. It's already shook up, but I'll probably shake it up again before I use it. And then I got these today. Um... Bright red Craft Smart paint from Michaels and navy um, Craft Smart paint from Michaels as well. So I was a little excited. And in the blue cup of paint, I put the blue glitter and water and WD 40, mixed it together, but I'll probably mix them again before I use them. And then in the red cup, which let me turn around here a little bit to where my kitchen light is. Um, it's kind of the, I'll explain to you why it's not a bright red color anymore. Um, I had put in it, besides water and WD-40, I put in this gold color um, Decor Art paint, or uh, it's like glitter paint. 
So I had to kind of dilute it a little bit because it made it super thick. So now I've got it down to the consistency is kind of drippy, which is kind of where I want it. So I'll give that a good stir again. And I'll do the same with the blue. And then I'll shake up the black one more time. Oh, shoot, I forgot my cup in the other room. Go me. So I guess I'm using one of these. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the navy blue. And then we're gonna add the red. Sorry, my fingers weren't cooperating with the craft stick in there. Don't mind my little makeshift thing. This purple tote is where I have all like my candle holders and stuff like that in there. It's meant to go in my back, it, back where I do my normal painting, but I haven't brought it out there because I'm lazy. So it's been kind of handy out here right now because like I said, my craft room where I normally paint is hot right now. So I don't feel like swatting my butt off any more than I already am. So I'm gonna put some black in there and then I'm gonna probably put a little bit more water on the back of the can. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna put some of the black down on the canvas just to kind of help idea for a future canvas. I just got by using these bottles and mixing paint in there and squirting it on there and calling it good. We'll see if it actually turns out like I think it's gonna or if it's gonna be one that I redo. I don't know. It's one thing I like about painting or just doing art in general. You have one idea and then something just totally um, goes a different way and you change your mind. So I'm gonna step out of the light here so you guys can hopefully see a little bit better. So I put the candlestick upside down like I said in the in the canvas and then I'm just gonna kinda swirl the paint around. And I'm using a cardboard box that I got the other day when I went grocery shopping. Um, Cause where I go, they, they don't have plastic bags or anything like that. They just use the car empty cardboard boxes that they get from their stock, which I kinda love and then we recycle it when we don't have any more use for it. So, I'm gonna take this candle holder out now, if I can get it to cooperate. Okay, so maybe this is not as good of an idea as I thought it was gonna be. We'll see. I'm just kinda dripping off the excess, excess paint off of there just because, just because. So again, I'm gonna step out of the light a little bit so you guys can see. And I'm going to have to remember not to use the gold glitter next time in the red paint because I like the painting so far. But I was kind of going for like Superman, Captain America kind of colors. And putting that yellow gold paint glitter stuff in there kind of diluted the red a little more than I liked. I guess I should have thought about that ahead of the time. And I should have found a different glitter to put in instead of the yellow, or gold, I should say. But I do like the design of this so far. Pretty happy with it. And don't mind the tape moving. I was just trying to tape the box down after I broke it down a little bit. So that way it wasn't in my way. And once I put this down, I'll show you the canvas. There it is. Um, so, note to self, no yellow glitter paint and with red because I don't like the orangish color that it came out with, but otherwise I like it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.